I'm Melissa. And I'm Joy. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Off the, the Record. Record. Hey, my name is Joy Wade. I'm an author, entrepreneur, and social media influencer. I actually got interested in YouTube when I was in middle school, so I was a typical middle school girl. I liked going on the internet, finding makeup tutorials. Um, I didn't really find hair tutorials yet, but I saw a ton of people doing things that I was like, hey, I kind of want to do that. So I started with um, my webcam on my parents' computer and I made my first video. I started growing from there. Um, I didn't really see that much growth when I started, but back then I wasn't really thinking about numbers. Influencers didn't make money like that, so that wasn't really a motivation. I was just doing something I was passionate about. And when I got into high school, I got really serious about my channel, so I was posting more regularly. I started seeing growth. I reached my first 10,000 subscribers around that point. I made um, advice videos, high school survival, just anything that came to my mind I was making. Around my senior year, I really started to get um, into my college application process, so naturally I was making videos about that. And once I got into USC, which is where I go now, um, I got tons of questions from students about how to get into college, how to get scholarships, and that's where I found another passion of mine in helping students um, get into college. So that led me to write my first book, which is called You Got Into Where, and it's basically a high school college admissions guide, and that's where that started. So it was a process to getting through YouTube, growing my channel, and starting You Got Into Where and writing that book. For my book, I decided that I wanted to self-publish, which basically means you don't go through a traditional publisher. I was 17 at the time, so I definitely wasn't getting a book deal. <laughs> um, so I just went the self-publishing route. And also, it was just a great way for me to experiment with, you know, trying things out on my own. Um, but as far as the writing process, because I already had um, a small audience, I could go off of the things that they wanted to know about to make sure I was making a product that they were gonna buy and that was gonna be helpful to them. Personal branding, I feel like, is such a concept that's thrown around, but it's also really important. You don't really see that many influencers that are talking about getting into college, but I combine that with my passion for lifestyle, for hair care, and all of that good stuff. And I always encourage people to kind of mix your passions um, with what works on your channel or your platform. So my audience is young black girls so I know that they care about their hair but I also want them to care about their future so I like to combine those two things because I know that they're in a pivotal time when you're about to go to college um, you're caring about how you look and how you're presenting yourself but you're also caring about you know getting an education or making money or starting your brand so that's how I kind of figured out what my personal brand was so I didn't really start working with companies for paid opportunities until last year so that was about five years into my content creation um, I'd worked with brands on kind of like free um, opportunities where they'll send you products and you post about it, but I wasn't really seeing any money come into that factor until last year. So the first brand that I worked with um, on a paid opportunity was As I Am, which is a hair care brand. And um, they reached out to me and said that they wanted to do um, some social media stuff and YouTube stuff, and I was really excited. So the way that I currently present myself to brands is usually most of my opportunities get emailed to me. Um, so definitely having my email readily available so people can contact me. Um, if you're interested in working with brands per se, if you're interested in being an influencer, I'd say that a lot of people are starting out and expecting to do that within months, a year of starting their brand. Um, so I'd say that if that's what you're expecting, then maybe going into this field isn't right for you um, just because everyone's journey is different. The people that you see who start and then have hundreds of thousands of followers within you know a short time of starting, they're just a small percentage. A lot of people are out here for the long term, even 
Jackie Ina, who's a popular、um, YouTuber. She's popular now, and people are like all about her. But they don't know that it took her five years to get to a hundred thousand subscribers. So just know that even the people that you see are big now, they definitely have stories behind them. So I'm like, I don't know what can happen. My growth. Like I said, like in the past year and a half, I've grown over fifty thousand people. Like I couldn't predict that or expect that to happen. I usually don't hop on things right away, but I spend a lot of time on the back end, behind the scenes, planning out what I'm trying to do. So, for example, my book, I had to do tons of research. Google is your best friend whenever you want to do something. Research on finding out how to get something published. How should you write it? How should you get an editor? Definitely get feedback before you go and like make a product. If you have a goal, I would say always try to work to finish it.、Um, just because you're gonna feel a lot better about yourself, you're gonna learn a lot from the experience.、Um, I never encourage people if they're getting frustrated to kind of stop what they're doing. You can always take breaks, but I would say kind of follow through, just because that experience is gonna mean way more to you、um, on the back end. That was my first book. Obviously, it probably wasn't. The best book that I'm gonna write.、Um, I definitely have other ideas, and from that experience,、um, I've learned so much. So the next time I do a book or do a project, I kind of know the mistakes I made and what not to do the next time. So I always do my priorities first.、Um, so if I have a project that has a deadline, I'm always trying to get that done first. If I have schoolwork that has a deadline, I have to get that done, and. From there, I do tons of checklists. I use my iPhone calendar、um, with reminders. I have a paper planner. I have notebooks. I go through notebooks like nobody's business because I always am writing down my goals and the steps that I have、um, left to get there.、Um, just because it keeps my mind on track, and that's something that I do. Every day, sometimes even twice a day, just because I'm crazy like that. But people always ask me, "How do you actually get done the things you say you're gonna do?" And that's how I get it done. Where do you see yourself and your brand in ten years? In ten years, I want to be a millionaire, <laughs> and I want to have a couple of books out, and I also want to continue traveling and doing the things I love. One time that I failed is. Interesting. It's in relation to my work with brands、um, and my YouTube channel. So I was talking to a brand, and they wanted to do a partnership for a couple of months, and it was going to be the most money that I've ever made from a partnership. And eventually, the deal fell through, and it didn't happen. And I was kind of upset because I was like. You reached out to me, but you can't. Like, why can't it like go through? Because things with negotiations fell through. I thought that、um, I deserve more money because with, when you get like a brand deal that's kind of long, they give you like how many things you're going to be doing each month, and then if you kind of think about how much you're charging and you have four things to do that month, what they're offering was kind of less than if I just did four individual things. You're going to have things that you think are going to happen, but that are going to fall through. But you just can't get. Too upset about it.、Um, I know that other opportunities will come. Money is abundant.、Um, you just have to find how you're gonna slide and get that coin.、Um, there's space for everyone. So just because one thing falls through doesn't mean your life is over. I'm Joy Wade, and this is Off the Record.